What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up. My name is Tom Vecchio. The divisional round is here. Two games on Saturday, two games on Sunday. I'm set to bring you three value plays for your DFS lineups. Let's jump in. Starting off at running back with Cam Akers for the Los Angeles Rams at $5,700 going up against the Buccaneers. This game has a solid 48 and a half over under. We should be seeing some scoring here. Last week, obviously, the Rams were up big over the Cardinals, but we still saw Cam Akers out-touch Sonny Michel overall 18 to 13. And Akers had a few targets in the passing game while Sonny Michel didn't have any. So that's a good sign. Considering the overall slate at running back, a lot of people are probably going to be paying up for Derrick Henry, who's going to be activated off of IR, or they're going to be looking to pay up at receiver for Cooper Cup or Devontae Adams. That means you need to be finding some value potentially at running back and Cam Akers in what is the lead role essentially for the Rams could be that option at $5,700. Moving on to wide receiver, Tyler Boyd at 5,800 for the Cincinnati Bengals. This should be a great game. We should be seeing a positive passing game script for the Bengals in this one. It was solid 47 and a half over under. We look back to the regular season and the Titans allowed 33.8 fade points per game to opposing wide receivers. That was the second worst in the league. We look to Boyd and he's been super consistent for the Bengals with five targets or more in six straight weeks. He comes in with an 18% target share overall. Really, obviously, the option in the Bengals offense that's probably going to be going overlooked a little bit out Outside of Higgins, Chase, and Joe Mixon, Boyd could be the option that's flying a bit under the radar. And with his solid target share and obviously a solid matchup against the Titans secondary, this is a spot you want to be looking. Another wide receiver and finally the third option would be Emmanuel Sanders for the Buffalo Bills at $5,500. This game against the Chiefs has the slate high 53 and a half over under. Uh, we look to Manny Sanders, who obviously doesn't have the largest target share on the Bills. It's only sitting at 13.7% for the season, but he has a team high 14.96 A dot. That's average depth of target. We know he's a player that always can get downfield and really can pay off a salary in one or two plays. So given the high over under, given the fact that he's only $5,500, given his big play potential, Manny Sanders could be one of the best you know, downfield options on the entire slate. All right, so that does it for this week's value plays. I'll be back next week bringing you three more for your DFS lineups.